Hi guys! So, um, recently I've really been wanting to make a video about how I started self-studying Korean um, because some people requested it. So, yeah, today I'm going to be talking about the ways that I think are best to start studying Korean as a beginner and what worked for me and what didn't work for me. I know I'm just another one of these wannabe language YouTubers, but hopefully my experience will be able to help you in your language learning journey. For context about me, I- okay, I've been studying Korean since 2017. It's 2022 now, it kind of hurts. <laughs> I'm not as good as I wish I was, but um, I am topic level three and I just started my major which is Korean so I do have some experience I've also lived in Korea so I do have some experience okay so obviously the first thing that you want to do when you start learning Korean is to learn the alphabet so um, the writing system in Korean is actually really really simple to learn it doesn't take very long at all I always say that you can probably learn it in like two hours and be able to read basic things. You won't know what they mean, but you can read them. So yeah, definitely get started learning the writing system first. And the real reason for this is because if you start learning the language and you start learning phrases, but you write the romanization, you write out the phrases in English, basically your pronunciation will just be messed up. It'll never be close enough to the actual pronunciation, if you know what I mean. It's definitely best if you learn the writing system first. Yeah, if you haven't learned- I know probably a lot of you have already learned the alphabet, but if you haven't learned the alphabet yet, there are a lot of good resources out there. There's a lot of YouTube videos on it. I think learning the alphabet from a YouTube video is more helpful than learning from like a textbook, just because you can hear that native pronunciation, right? So, okay, so after the alphabet, I think it is definitely best if you choose a textbook. Personally, I chose the Korean from Zero series. I'm not sure why, but it was just one I found on the internet. And yeah, I started from there. In that book, it teaches you, I think it teaches you the alphabet, teaches you how to write, and it starts from the very basics. And there are a couple books in the series, so it goes up to like pre-intermediate maybe. So for me, I just got like totally addicted to going through my textbook every day. It was kind of like filling out like a puzzle or something, you know? I just loved getting through a bunch of pages and thought it was really entertaining. In that way, I think the Korean from Zero textbook is really good. I thought it was really motivating and like the chapters aren't too long, they're not too complicated, so it felt very rewarding <laughs> finishing a chapter. Another resource that I know a lot of language learners use is called Talk to Me in Korean. So it's probably the most well-known program now and i wish it was more popular when i started out because it seems like a real it seems really well put together and i know a lot of people who've gone to a pretty high level of korean using that program so i know that one's really good although i believe korean from zero is free you can get the online textbook for free and, but to talk to me in korean is not free you have to pay for the books although you can probably find them free somewhere it starts from level one and i think they go up until level six or something like that so if you start with that series you can keep continuing on with that series until you're fairly intermediate so i think that it would be smart to start with talk to me in korean you could always start with other textbooks there's obviously a lot of textbooks out there but I know textbooks like Yonsei, Ihua, the textbooks that Korean universities have made. I think from what I've heard, they're not as good for self-studying. And then the last resource I'm going to mention is uh, How to Study Korean, which isn't a textbook, it's a website. And I think it's really helpful too. Um, it gives you, you know, certain vocabulary for every lesson and then it goes to the grammar points and it, yeah i think it's really helpful so i think something that's really important when you first start learning language is to set specific goals so for example um as a beginner maybe you want to be able to introduce yourself by the end of the month or something like that i think it's important to have a good daily routine or it doesn't have to be daily you might not want to study every day but a good routine so like every day you study you want to learn one new grammar point and three vocabulary 
so yeah it can be really motivating to try to accomplish your study routine for the language every day that's another thing that's really important so by the time you can you know some words you can conjugate some verbs you know how to ask and answer some basic questions about your life like how old are you what's your name how many siblings do you have um, what's your major stuff like that i think it's really important uh, to try to get some practice with a native speaker or if you don't have access to a native speaker it could always be another learner obviously because in doing so that will be the way that you'll actually be able to speak the language if you just keep studying on your own every day you might be become good at you know understanding some words in a k-drama but when it comes down to actually speaking it will be a big learning curve for you and i experienced that personally because i didn't know any native speakers so i think it would have been good for me to try to find maybe a tutor on italki um which i know a lot of korean learners recommend uh, maybe just a language exchange partner on one of those language exchange apps you have to be careful on some of those but i will link some examples of those i think that is all the information that i have for you guys today i'm definitely willing to answer any questions that you might have so just leave a comment and i will do my best to respond as soon as possible yeah i hope that this information will be able to help you and <sighs> yeah Super, I do the show, don't make me the